Hello guys, Mr. Dandaman2050 here, welcome to another video, and in this video we're going to be showing you how to USB mod GTA 5. Yes guys, there's a way to do it already, even though it's been out a week. Anyway, I'm just going to park my car here, and yeah, what you need to do guys, if you don't want to write over your save, um, yeah, you want to create a duplicate save, so as you, as you can see here, look, I've got two saves, I'm just going to save over, um, over that one. So I've got two saves that are exactly the same. Um, so yeah, if you have one save, just click create a new save, and then they'll all go to the same. So as you can see, look, I've got two are the same saves and that's just the second one's kind of there as a backup if it goes wrong but i i kind of did it the first time and nothing went wrong there so go to the dashboard and once that's all loaded up and everything you want to go all all the way to the right hand side click on system then storage and then go to your storage drive now you will need like rather a portable hard drive or usb to do this since it's a usb mod and here go to gt5 and you should see your save now since i save on a usb portable hard drive i don't need to transfer any files but yeah you'll need to transfer it to like a flash stick where you can plug it into your computer now switching over to my computer you want to go to horizon and download that that's via cnet so it's all nice and safe so once you've downloaded that you want to download this file for Medify, this is the actual USB mod and this will allow you to, yeah, mod GTA and, yeah, get unlimited money because that's what this can of his is. In my head, $2 billion is unlimited, so, yeah, we'll just get that out of the way. Please also bear in mind, guys, I'm just going to say this mod does take you back to 16% story mode, but I will be covering a video later on today about how to do it um on, on your existing save so once you downloaded the modded file right click on it extract it and you should get another folder and inside there will be the mod now just open that look and click on the folder where it says all main characters modded money and there you are there is the file now what you want to do with this so there's the file it's a few kilobytes close that and you want to open up horizon now this is similar to modio but i think has a few more features in terms of yeah, the amount of games you can mod without actually having to download any mods, if that makes sense. Because the program's kind of like, it kind of is like really user friendly and kind of allows you to just plug in your flash stick, recognize your games, and you can kind of mod them like instantly, I suppose. You don't really need no brains, but the mod we're going to be using today is to actually import an actual mod and to get your existing mod, copy all the IDs and stuff across. You get what I mean? And I did two open, right? So as you can see, look, I've got my one terabyte address plugged in. And then I've also got my flash stick. It's, it's funny because they're both portables, but we'll just leave that out. So, um, yeah, it's on the flash stick. So you want to go to your games. And uh, once that loads up there. And you want to be clicking on GTA V. As you can see, it's all in lowercase. It's Microsoft have done a dreadful job there. But you just scroll down and you find uh, you find your save. So here we are. Look, that's the two saves that I had. Uh, the top one was a little save, just ignore that. So... Yeah, I'm going to double click on there, and as you can see, look, there's the money. Now, you can mod it this way, I will be covering this later, but just for the purpose of this tutorial today, we're going to be using the modded file. Um, yeah, the modded file, we're going to import that. So, let me just find it. Um, kind of new to this software, but nevertheless. Um, so, if I... Uh, right, it's not inject file, like it's extract. Yeah, it's extract file. Extract the file, put it to your desktop, somewhere where you can remember it, guys, and just click save. Don't change the name or anything because that'll be confusing. So just click save. And now on your desktop, you will have the actual modded. Well, no, that's your genuine save on your desktop for GTA. So you want to drag that into Horizon on there, and you'll get like a little kind of menu where it'll say, you know, your console ID and all that stuff. So get the actual mod, drag that one into Horizon as well, put that on the right hand side, it's important that you put it on the right hand side so you know which one's yours, and uh, yeah, as you can see, the modded one's on the right, but the profile ID, device ID, and console ID are all zeros, so you've got a copy of your profile device and console ID onto the mod, and then you can save, rehash, and resign them, the file, the actual game save. So as you can see we're doing here, I'm just copying and pasting them across. Nice and simple job, anyone can do it. And then lastly, the console ID, you want to do that one. Now copy and paste. There we are. That's, so that's it, guys. Once you're done, it's really, really simple. You just click the save, rehash, and resign at the top. And it'll say save, rehash, and resign. It's nice and simple. And once that's done, um, if, if you click on mod pack package, you can see the money's gone all the way up to the top. Now, we'll be covering... That little program thing you just saw a little bit later today, I'll, I'll do a video on that. So I think that uh, I think that's a, a lot easier. But I just want to do this one because I have basically I I found this quite a few days ago and just just wanted to cover it. Anyway, so that's all done, guys. As you can see, modded files there. 
um, drag it into how, uh, where is it? Yeah, the device explorer, and it'll say select a profile for the save game. Click on your profile, use it, and what it'll do is it'll actually import the file. So there we are, look, uh, exists, and you just want to click, you want to overwrite it. Yes, there we are, nice and simple. And it says the following uh, packages were successfully transferred, and as you can see, um, it's right there. I, th I think that's Spanish or something, but nevertheless, guys, it does not matter at all. Your kind of console tells the game what language to play in. That's all fine and dandy. Right, now you want to go to the computer. There's your good old hard drive thing. Take it out, put it back in your Xbox. Once you're done, you want to go to settings. Um, you want to click on system, then storage. Transfer your save over if you had it on a USB stick. And yeah, you want to put it back onto your Microsoft hard drive. I don't know why man takes so long to load there, look. So you want to click on your games. You go to GTA 5 save and, and transfer that over back to yeah, your, like your, your actual Xbox 360 hard drive. If you want to keep it on on like the, the portable hard drive or a flash stick like I do, that's absolutely fine. But you just click copy and yeah, please do bear man, you do need to be signed in. So that's all done guys for the kind of modding thing, that's all done. So we'll just click on the game, load it up. Um, just wait for this to get done and uh, yeah, I'll show you kind of what you can do with these mods. It is a money mod, as I said, you can get $2 billion and quite frankly, I just think it's amazing because you could kind of carry on from where this actual story mode is at a 16%. I know, I know it's a bit crap thinking you're carrying on someone else's save, but like it's, it's, uh, it. In my head, I just don't think of it as that because you, you were doing the rest and you'll just be using the money and that be all, all sorted. It's, like, it, it's a modern it, guys. I think all mods you download are, are, are work from someone else, which is pretty terrible. But you know, but yeah, to. Tutorial over guys, I'm just going to show you some gameplay uh, I didn't load up too slow at all, right So as you can see, you spawn here on Michael Everyone's going to spawn here and if you actually go um, If if you go to the pause menu or anything You'll actually see that you have um, That you have two million dollars Now, you can spend this wherever you want to At a gun store or somewhere else Like uh, like some kind of clothes shop so I get out of my car, you actually go to this um, clothes shop. I believe this is one of the posh clothes shops. So, so all it sells is suits and fancy shoes, so we'll leave it there, won't we? So, uh, yeah, let's buy a top for like $200, which is outrageous. And then, and then we buy a suit, completely contradicting the fact of that like, we just bought a top. Oh well. So, as you can see, look, we're going to buy a suit for like five grand. That as well, since you have $2 billion, so we'll just leave it there. So, there we are, guys. Minus five nine zero zero. L look how much money I have. Yeah, I'm, I, I was going to pause that and read it through. Two one four seven four seven six seven zero seven. That's a lot of dollars. That's what I'm saying. Oh yes. Oh yeah. We're just going to choose some shoes. There's loads of shoes. Shoes to, to choose from. Yes. So that's it. Uh, I'm just going to kind of like cut the video and yeah, show me buying some guns from the gun store. And that's why I'm showing you that. I just think that is all. You know. We'll go in here and we'll buy some guns because that's what you can do in the US guys, you just walk in and buy a minigun. Yeah, laws are all messed up in, in, in the US. So we'll just buy loads of guns, look, load, grip, flashlights, screw up everything. Like oh, I'll just max out everything. Right? Money is not even going down a bit. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Please feel free to like, comment and also subscribe to, to be notified of when I upload new videos like this one and other kind of ones related to um, kind of GTA, Call of Duty and stuff like that. Anyway guys, thanks for watching.